Another Republican presidential candidate visited the Lowcountry today as the pool of choices there gets smaller. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley made a campaign stop in Bluffton this afternoon and touched on quite a variety of topics. Emily Johnson was at the town hall and tells us about Haley's goals. Hundreds of Haley supporters came together this afternoon after the location had to be changed to the Bluffton campus due to the amount of people wanting to show up and show support. The most recent Winthrop University poll shows Haley in second place behind Donald Trump, but ahead of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. We just have one more fellow we got to catch up to. <laughs> and I'll remind you, and I want to be very respectful, that we are on the USC Beaufort campus. How'd it work out for the Gamecocks having Trump show up? She discussed a range of topics this afternoon, including conflict in other countries, problems with the economy and current leadership, veteran benefits, health care, and the current condition of border patrol. And I didn't pull a Kamala, go and come back. I went 400 miles down that border. You're not ready for what I saw. Mounds of shoes, mounds of clothes, paraphernalia. I will veto any spending bill that doesn't take us back to pre-COVID levels. That will save us trillions. Haley's husband is currently deployed with the South Carolina Army National Guard in Africa, and she shared her personal experience with veteran health care. Life had passed him by for the year that he was gone, and the transition was tough. We can't just love our men and women when they're gone. You got to love them when they come back home, too. Haley ended the town hall telling voters how important it is for everyone to vote in the upcoming election and show support as the Republican candidate pool narrows down. House seats up and down the ticket, Senate seats. This is about getting our entire country turned around. We can do this, South Carolina. You've done this before. You know how to do it. Reporting in Bluffton, Emily Johnson, Life of News.